Hi, I'm Bob Alsop with Shop Saber CNC. Around here they call me Router Bob. We have a great video today that really highlights the power of the multi spindle option on a Shop Saber ISM CNC router. Let's get started. The ISM series represents our highest level of technology at ShopSaver, and of course they're part of our machine tool grade router group. Here's what that means. It means the base frames are structural steel, all welded single piece. All the machining is done in a single setup on an aerospace mill. That's where you get so much action and such great edge finishes. And of course we use that same technology when we fabricate the gantries. Ball screw technology is an important part of being a machine to a grade CNC router. Ball screws eliminate play, can handle heavy loads, and are virtually maintenance free. And that concept also carries over to precision contour guide rails, which also operate with ball bearings. Bottom line is you get better parts and better accuracy because of this technology. The ISM series CNC routers come standard with the world's fastest dedicated machine controller, the Mitsubishi M80. One of the reasons the controller is so fast is because the internal communications are all handled with fiber optic. But you know, there's another part to machine control that has to do with the servos and the drive motors. The closed loops digital servos actually have glass encoders that supply a million counts per revolution. With that much data available and the speed of the control, you get really, really high performance on the machine and you get extreme part accuracy. But you know, we were able to accomplish all that and still maintain the ease of use machine control that we're famous for at ShopSaber. This machine features our optional 10 position carousel tool changer with HSK tool holders and the optional 13 horsepower HSD spindle. And we have a nine spindle boring block that we'll be using in our demonstration today. The machine we're using today features our exclusive ShopSaber Super Z technology. Here's what that brings you. It starts out with balancing cylinders, which bring you faster 3D machining and faster drilling. It comes with our tool plate stiffener system, which really equates to better edge finishes and better accuracy. And finally, all of this is driven by a closed loop digital servo driving a ball screw. This machine features our exclusive ShopSaber high flow vacuum technology. It starts out with a table that's totally machined on the machine itself, so it lines up perfectly with the spindle. And also, by the way, it's so accurate, you don't really have to have gasket between the table and the spool board. Now, the grid system that we developed to interact with the spool board itself has about two thirds more flow than a typical universal table. So you're gonna get more vacuum to hold your parts. Now we connect that internally with hard pipes and they're large hard pipes. In fact, there are four zones on this that you can control. Those hard pipes flow into a, a large frame component that becomes a vacuum plenum. And then to the back of the machine, we feed a four inch hard pipe. And on the end of that pipe, we connect brand name vacuum pumps. This machine features our optional part locator pins, which makes it easier for you to load and unload the machine. Now that we've talked about the machine, let's go in the office and let's actually look at the project that we're gonna produce. For this demonstration, I wanted to select a product that would really show off the power of the multi-drill option. Well, what kind of case work would that be? Well, what comes to mind is closets, tall cabinets, anything with a lot of adjustable shelves and a lot of holes. So let me show you the product that I created in Mosaic. Here's what our cabinet looks like in the viewer on Mosaic. It's just typically a tall cabinet. It's about 24 inches deep. Now, let's actually look at this at the cabinet level so we can see more of the details of how this thing's gonna be machined. To get from the room level to the cabinet level, we just select the product tab. I select the cabinet and I go edit. And let's take a look with the viewer and here's what we've got. Now, so far, here's what's being generated, all right? Uh, it's held together with Rayfix fasteners. There's a top, a bottom, and a middle panel, which is a fixed shell. There's also some holes here for the hardware for the door hinges. But you notice there's no holes for the adjustable shelves. Let's take a look at what really controls that. In Mosaic, parameters determine pretty much everything about a construction method. Now those parameters can be at the catalog level, they can be at the room level, they can also be at the cabinet level. So what I wanted to do first was just take a standard cabinet and then change the parameters the way I want it. Let me show you how that works. If I go to the parameters tab, you can see what I've done. 
Okay, first off, a joint fast one, that determines what kind of joiner I'm using. So that's where I said ray fix. Um, right now I've got all the system holes turned off. Uh, I don't need dado, so I set the dado depth to zero. That got rid of those. I moved the uh, front row back a little bit, and I'll, uh, right now I left the spacing. So let's see what this boring means. Now, we've already looked at the cabinet, and there's no holes there. So let's look at the first choice. It's called shotgun bore. And let's take a look at that. And this is a real old system. In fact, this was developed back before... Um, CNC's came along and, and typically in shops what they did was they had big boring machines they throw a panel on there and drill everything in one shot or maybe two and so but when CNC came along we realized that every uh, hole had a cost so we said well maybe we won't do so many. Now a variation of that also is, uh, is a series of holes and if you look at that they're just spaced differently but there's still lots of holes a lot of holes you don't need. When CNC came along we had the ability to be much more specific about it so Here's a, one of the options is uh, one hole per shelf, and if you look really close, you can see it. That's fine, but it's not adjustable. All right, so let's look at another option. Okay, now we've got one at three holes per shelf. And once again, now you begin to see the idea. So that's nice. Uh, what I would probably use with a boring block, to tell you the truth, is five holes per shelf, because I can drill those five in, at one time, but in our application here, I'm actually going to do more than that. We're going to go ahead and use the setting that says seven holes per shelf. So that's what we're going to create for our project. So now the reason I selected seven is because I wanted to show you drill optimization. So what it's going to do is it's going to drill five holes then come back and drill two. So you'll get to see that when we actually run it to the machine. Now I'm real happy with this. Everything looks good. We'll close that out. Now I'm going to go to Cut List and Optimize. Now let's take a look at the Optimizer. Optimize is another word for nesting. So basically what the software's done is it's sorted the parts by material, nested them on the sheets for the best yield, and here's how this job came out. Looks like it takes three sheets. Let's look closer at that. Yeah, that's, that's a nice nest. There's one. You know, I like this first one the best. Here's why. First, you see how many holes there are. There's all your... That's the holes for the ray fixes. There's your adjustable shelves. There's the hardware. There's the groove for the back. And then these are these are fixed shelf at the top, so they have ray fixes. And then these are just two adjustable shelves. That's a really good nest. So I think what we'll do is we'll generate G-code for that nest. G-code is actually a programming language that the machine controls interpret to create the tool paths that we designed in the software. Let me show you how that's done. All right, we hit the Generate G-Code button, and that brings this screen up, and we hit Calculate, and you see three tool paths. One's multi-drill, one's pocketing, and that's for the groove for the back, and one's the outside. Let's take a look at that. Now, the, the software performs what's called pattern recognition, and, and what it really does is it, it looks at all the different configurations of the drill, and it figures out how to do it the most efficiently. Now, when I hit Simulate, you're going to see something. Okay, so what you have here is you have seven holes, so we can only drill five at a time. So I'm going to need to drill five and two, and you're going to see that highlighted. There should be two of those holes highlighted in each of these series, because those become the anchor drills. Let's take a look at that. There they are. You see them. So that's what's going to happen. So the software has figured out the optimum way to drill the holes, and that's what that toolpath does. Now, once we have our toolpath set, we send those out to machine control. Let's go out there and let's make our cabinet.
the Shop Saber ISM series with the multi-drill option was a great demonstration of how much productivity that can add to your machine. Something that amazed me also is how fast it cut and how good the edge finishes were. In fact, typically in the industry you'd have to spend twice as much money to get that kind of performance. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure and subscribe. If you have any questions, you can contact us at ShopSaber.com. Thank you for watching.